a uniform electric field of 10 newton per coulomb is created between two parallel charge plates as shown in figure an electron enters the field symmetrically between the plates with a kinetic energy 0.5 electron volt the length of each plate is 10 centimeter the angle theta of deviation of the path of electron as it comes out of the field is so here what is happening we have fired an electron now this electron has some kinetic energy that is it has some velocity so this electron moves in a straight line but due to the electric field the electron deflects because the electric field is directed downward and electron is negatively charged so electron will move in the upward direction so it's like a projectile motion right because the horizontal motion is a uniform motion whereas vertical motion is a uniformly accelerated motion due to the presence of electric field now at this point let us assume the electron reaches this point so when it reaches this point it has a horizontal velocity vx and vertical velocity vy right then the resultant velocity will be uh, if we use uh, this uh, vector law right if this is uh, the horizontal velocity and this is the vertical velocity then if we use parallelogram method right then this is the resultant velocity and if this is the angle theta with the horizontal then we can write tan theta is equals to opposite so here opposite is vy and horizontal is vx so tan theta is equals to vy by vx now we know that for vertical velocity it is an accelerated motion so we can use third equation of motion v is equals to u plus at right but initial velocity in the vertical direction is zero so vy for the vertical direction a into t for electron acceleration is given by e e by m because we know that force is qe electric force is qe and newton's from newton's second law is equals to force is equals to ma so if you make a as a subject it is qe by m the charge of electron is e so it is qe by m into t now for horizontal velocity vx let us assume uh, this charge cover distance l which is the length of the plate in time t then horizontal velocity is vx is equals to l by t we make t as a subject so t is equals to l by x we use this terms here okay so tan theta vy is e e m e e by m into t so it is e e by m into t and here we have vx so vx is l by t so t will go up so this become e e t square by m l now what i have done here right i have used this uh, t i have made t again here subject okay to make it more simpler so instead of t i have used l by x so here we have t square so t square is l square by vx square okay now this term e l e e by m l so here e e by m okay now see what will happen here l and l will get cancelled so here it is e e and here l so l and uh, then what i have done is i have multiplied this by 2 and divided by 2 because the kinetic energy is given okay so here you can see this l will get cancelled so here it is mv square but we know that half mv square is kinetic energy so what i have done i have this multiply and divide this equation by 2 so half mv square here and 2 as it is so it is e e l by 2 and half mv square is the kinetic energy and the kinetic energy is given 0 0.5 ev so it is 0 0.5 ev now to convert this value into joule i need to put the value of this electron right uh, charge of electron and if i put that value then this value and this value will get cancelled so this term will be in joule okay so uh, here 2 into 0.1 is uh, 0 0.5 2 into 0 0.5 is 1 so we are remaining with 10 theta is equals to only e into l so this is i have explained it very long but now it becomes very simpler so 10 theta is equals to e into l so e is equals to 10 and the value of l the length of the plate is 10 centimeter which is 0 0.1 so 10 theta equals to 1 and that is only possible when theta is 45 degree